school story time. I'm Miss Robin from the Whittier Public Library. So have a seat, scooch on in, get ready for stories, and get ready to have some fun with me this morning. We are going to, going to start today with our welcome song. You guys know this song, so can you help me? Will you help me with the welcome train? Gotta start like this. Can you move your arms like this? Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo, choo. Good job. All right, help hop on the welcome train with us this morning. Here we go. The welcome train is coming. Get on board. Choo choo. The welcome train is coming. Get on board. Choo choo. Oh, the welcome train is coming. The welcome train is coming. Yes, the welcome train is coming. Get on board. Choo-choo! Yay! Good job! I'm so glad you guys made it today. We are going to start right over here with this flannel board. Do you think you can help me find which animals live in these homes here? Let's see if you can help me. This is called Do Lions Live on Lily Pads? <gasps> is this the nest for goat. Goat says, ma. But does goat live in a nest? No, goat doesn't live in the nest. Who lives in a nest? Any guesses? That's right. Bird. Chip, 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 chip. Bird lives in the nest. There he is. Good job. All right, we finished our first one. What about right here? Do crocodiles live in shells? What do you think, yes or no? Do crocodiles live in shells? No. Bye-bye, crocodile. Snap, snap. Who lives in this shell? Hmm, any guesses? shell. There he is. Good job, guys. What about right over here? Do parakeets live in bowls filled with water? What do you think? Do birds live in bowls with water? No. Fly away, parakeet. Who lives in this bowl filled with water? Fishies! Good job! Yes, some fishies live in this water. Let's go ahead. Can you help me? We have an orange fish. Good job. What color is this one? We have a yellow fish. And we have an a pink fish. The fish live in the bowl filled with water. Not the parakeet, that's silly. All right, let's keep going, guys. How about right over here? Do guinea pigs live in webs? Who lives in that web over there? The guinea pig? Yes? No? Not the guinea pig. Bye, guinea pig. See you later. Who lives in the web? <gasps> I heard it, spider. Spider lives in the web. There he is with his eight legs, creeping on his spider web. Good job, everybody. What about right here? Do lions live on lily pads? No. See you later, lion. Who lives? on the lily pad in the pond. Any guesses? I heard it. It's someone green, sometimes other colors. Someone who says, ribbit, ribbit. It's frog. Frog likes to hop onto the lily pad in the pond. And how about right over here? Do elephants live in houses? 
Have you ever seen an elephant in a house? Not me. No way. Elephants don't live in houses. But who does? Who lives in the house? People. The people live in the house. There's a person. And here's another person. Lots of people live in this house. And guess what? Even one more friend. Kitty cat lives in this house too. Because houses are for people. And their buddies, their pets, their, their animal friends. Good job, everybody. You helped me find everybody's home. And you did a great job with that too. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and hop into our story today. Today we are reading How to Find a Fox. You wanna help me find a fox today? Let's go searching. This book was written by uh, Nyla Magruder and it's read with the permission of Macmillan Books. And here we go. Let's go find a fox. How to Find a Fox. Find a foxhole. Any foxhole will do. Hmm, is that a foxhole? The best foxes are at home when you visit. I wonder if a fox is here today. Take out your fox bait. What is our fox bait? Do you see it? Place it somewhere easy to spot. Oh, I see it's a turkey leg. Hide, then wait very quietly. Shh. We have to wait very quietly. So let's see if a fox comes to get that meat. And I guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer no fox has shown up yet, but I see some bugs. Maybe you should try a different approach. Let's go try another way. Tread slowly over the ground. Foxes have keen hearing, so we don't want to startle them. Be sure to look for fox tracks. Do you see any fox tracks, guys? Do you see any footprints anywhere? I see some, where are they leading? Oh no, they stopped. They're like dog tracks, but sneakier. Does anybody see a fox? Did you find one yet? Yes, no? Let's keep looking. Take a picture of a family of raccoons. They have bushy tails kind of like foxes. Put out some more bait and let's wait longer this time. Oh no, you waited too long. Lying around won't bring foxes to you. Keep looking. Stalk through the grass and make fox calls. Search by the stream Make some more fox calls. Can you guys make fox calls? What do you think a fox sounds like? Can you try it at home? What does a fox sound like? Roll down a hill. It won't help you find a fox, but it's fun. Maybe you need a change of perspective. Let's climb this tree. We can look from high above. We'll climb slowly and carefully. There he is. There's the fox. He's way down there. Uh-oh, now we have to climb down. Climb down from the tree. Oh no, he's getting away. So run, run, run. You've got to be quick. Don't lose him. Uh-oh, you lost him. Mm. 
Oh, man. No, wait. Not that one. Don't kick that rock. Kick a smaller rock. Ooh, should we be kicking rocks? We better not kick any rocks. That might hurt. Lie down on your back because it's hopeless. Perhaps this was the wrong day to find any foxes. Maybe you should just give up. What do you think? Should we give up? No. You want to go home, but you're too tired. What should we do now? Hmm. Let's take a deep breath. Close our eyes. Are you closing your eyes? Take a walk in your mind. Now is not the time to give up. What you're looking for is closer than you think. You've got a feeling that it's staring you right in the face. <gasps> there he is. Some days a fox doesn't want to be found, but some days he wants to find you. You are a master at finding foxes. Good job, everybody. We did it. And that is the end. I guess we just needed a little bit of patience, right? <laughs> okay. Now it's time to dance. Would you guys like to dance? That means you got to stand up. And let's see if you can dance dance. We're going to dance a couple different ways today. So let's go ahead and start by just dancing any way that you want to. So we're just going to play a little bit of music and you are just going to dance. You could wave your arms around. You can twist and twirl in circles. You could uh, maybe jump around and shake your head however you want to because today we are dancing any way that we want to. And in our second verse, we're going to clap. So make sure you clap along. And the third verse, we're going to jump. So get ready to jump too. But make sure you listen because there's a surprise at the end of each verse. Let's see if you're listening. Here we go. We're gonna dance any way that we want to, okay? So go ahead and start dancing. As soon as I say freeze, you have to stop. All right, let's try it again. We're going to start from the beginning. Here we go. Dance any way that you want to. Dance any way that you please. Dance any way that you want to. Stop when I say freeze. Good job. All right, here we go. Clap any way that you want to. different parts of our foxy body to move around today. So let's start with our tail. Where's your tail? Can you shake your tail? Good job. Here we go. This is how it goes. Fox has got a long red tail. Shake that tail. Shake that tail. 
fox has got a long red tail. Shake that tail right now. Good job. How about a pointy nose? Show me your pointy nose. Good job. Fox has got a pointy nose. Wiggle that nose. Wiggle that nose. Fox has got a pointy nose. Wiggle that nose right now. How about two front paws? Can you show me your, here we go. Can you show me your foxy paws? <laughs> Good job. Fox has got two front paws. Clap those paws. Clap those paws. Fox has got two front paws. Clap those paws right now. How about something on his head that he can hear with? There we go, ears. Fox has got two pointy ears. Pointy ears, pointy ears. Fox has got two pointy ears. Twitch those ears right now. How about down a little further on our face? How do we see with our eyes? Good job. Fox has got two bright eyes. Blink those eyes, blink those eyes. Fox has got two bright eyes. Blink those eyes right now. All right, one more thing about foxes. Hmm, what can you think our fox might have? In his mouth. Sharp teeth, long sharp teeth. Here we go. Fox has got long sharp teeth, long sharp teeth. Bite those teeth. Fox has got long sharp teeth. Bite those teeth right now. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Woo! You guys are some great foxes. I loved that. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and sing our last song today. We will choose our song by rolling our song cube. So let's count down as we roll it. Here we go. Three, two, one. What will we sing? March, 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 March. All right, you know this one. We've sung this one together before. What we need to do is we need to stand up. And can you march with your feet and your arms like this? Good job. Here we go. Marching, 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 hop, 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 running, 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 now let's stop, now let's stop, marching, 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 hop, 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 Running, 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 running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. Great job, everybody. Thanks for coming today and watching story time, helping me out. And let's go ahead and make sure you visit us again next week. Don't forget, each week we have preschool story time and baby story time. So we'll see you again next time in story time. Bye, everyone.